bone is a real painful thing okay you have to go and find band-aid and all that kind of stuff in your hand so i don't want you all to hurt yourself just take your time and you will know if the scales are completely removed because when you pass your hand on the fish it is smooth okay there's no rough part so you know the scales has been removed so wash it with some um, lime And you want to put a little slit in it. You want to cut a little slit in it. So the seasoning will be absorbed. In the fish, okay? It's a small fish, so you just need one slit. You don't need more than one slit in this one. Bigger fishes, or bigger fish in fact, you can put more than one slit. You, you put the slit until you feel the bone. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to season this fish. To season the fish, I'm going to put some black pepper. Black pepper and salt are actually basic, the basic in ingredients you would use from seasoning. I'm going to put a sprinkle of salt. Not too much salt, just a little sprinkle because you don't want the fish to be salty, okay? And that's enough. And I'm going to put a little bit of a little sprinkle of Old Bay seasoning. Now, you folks realize that I'm not using any wet seasoning to season the fish because what happens, I, I believe, when you put wet seasoning to season your fish and you fry your fish. It makes a lot of water in the oil 
right and it splashes up and it can burn you so i'm just going to use dry seasoning for the fish okay i'm going to leave this to marinate for about half an hour and i'll be back the fish has been marinated for half an hour a little over half an hour and what i'm going to do i'm going to coat it with this fish fry you just put a generous amount to cover the fish okay guys and you have your, your, your frying pan on in the meantime as i said you can use flour and you want to sort of just shake it off like you don't want all that accumulation going in that frying pan so guys those of you who are new to my channel Welcome to the girl Andrea's Trini Show, where great cooking comes your way, lots of fun, things to make you laugh, things to make you cry, you understand? Things to make you laugh, things to make you cry. And I'm sorry I've been away for a while, I was doing some business on the side, so here I am back again in my kitchen. Alright, so you want to put a frying pan on high. And you want to put some oil, enough oil to fry that fish. So as I said, I'm using vegetable oil. That's the amount of oil I'm using. And let us heat up and then we'll fry that fish. When the oil is hot enough, you rest the fish. Gently rest the fish in the oil. Remember to dust out. You want to heat on medium, you don't want it on high because it's going to burn your fish and the fish is going to cook too quick, right? So you leave it in this oil and let it fry. Now the coating is prevents the fish from sticking to the bottom of the frying pan. All right, so you leave it here and let it fry until it's cold and brown on one side. And then I'll be back. This is the end product of my fish, right? Pink snapper and I've garnished it today with some boiled corn avocado avocados some sliced limes and i'm going to sprinkle some parsley chops parsley so don't forget to hit that like button comment and share this video with your family and friends and certainly subscribe so see you again with another great video this is a girl andrea signing off and saying be safe